each setting tab of Cursi manages one function, they're user-friendly and easy to configure. This tab contains the general settings of Cursi, including currency list cash compatible option, fixed price function, currency price switcher. The location tab contains language compatibility and IP detecting function, like showing price or approximate price in customer's native currency based on their IP, and change currency, based on customer's selected language. If you're using a multilingual plugin, like WPML, Polylang, or TranslatePress, here you can manage the multi-currency payment. The design settings have options to modify how the currency tools display on the front end. The currency tool here includes currencies bar, currency selector, and currency price switcher. The price format function is for rounding the price in each currency, and the update settings is for scheduling to automatically update exchange rate, also for plugin updating. To install the plugin, simply upload the zip file you've downloaded here. Set up a currency list, including supported currencies for your site. In this table, click Add Currency button to add more. Type the currency you want to add here. The selected currency is, by default, assigned with its global symbol, but you can assign a custom symbol for it, for example, I made a custom symbol for United States dollars like this. Other than the symbol, you also need to configure the exchange rate, exchange fee, and number of decimals. Exchange rate can be updated individually, or in bulk, manually or automatically. If you don't want to use the global exchange rate, you can add your own rate here, but if you add your own custom exchange rate and use the auto update exchange rate function at the same time, your custom rate will be overwritten by the global exchange rate. When plugin updates the rate, the exchange fee is the value that will be added to the product price when converting. Rate and exchange fee is the total value of the exchange rate and the exchange fee adding to the product price. When users switch currencies, the fee can be added in fixed or percentage value and the number of decimals is the number of digits that appears after the decimal separator. Some other options you can configure in this currency table are changing their position by dragging and dropping, select the default currency, or show hide them. By default, the currency's bar is enabled. So you can see the tool here to change currency. We'll learn about how to manage currency switcher tools in a few next part, including this currency's bar. Fix price function allows you to modify product price in each currency independently of the exchange rate. You can see in the product editing page, there are only input fields for prices in the default currency. Now enable this option. You'll be able to adjust price in each currency. With variable products, you can even add fixed price in all currencies with this option. It'll overwrite the converted price. We still recommend configuring the exchange rate properly though. Or you may use this option, it makes the price not automatically converted to the exchange rate, even if the fixed price in some currencies is empty. Fixed price function can also work in flat rate and free shipping shipping methods. You can use a CSV file to add product fixed price in bulk. First, export the file. Now, modify the price in each currency, except for the default one, and import the file back. There are a few important notes of this function, you can find in the documentation, which is placed in the description box. Cursi supports four types of switcher, currencies bar, currency price switcher, and currency selector, short code or widget. All of them can be modified in the design settings. Here's the setting zone for currencies bar. Currency selector, created by adding short code or dragging widget. 
Options to modify this switcher are also in the design tab. And currency price switcher, which is only available in the single product page, nowhere else. You can select a style for the switcher here in the general tab. The settings allow you to manage multi-currency payment function. Enable the function here. If this option is disabled, customers can only pay in the default currency. All other settings below can only work if this function is enabled, except for the display multi-currencies option. This option display two currencies on checkout page. One is the checkout currency, and the other is customer's selected currency, if they're different. This table is to assign the payment method to each currency. First, select which currency is available for checkout. If the customer purchases in one currency, the corresponding assigned payment methods will be available, but they will be validated again in checkout. Therefore, even if you select a payment method for a currency that the payment does not support, it will not be available in the front end. For example, PayPal does not support HRK. If you select PayPal as a payment method of HRK, PayPal will still not be available when your customers check out an HRK. Let's try forcing direct bank transfer on US dollar and COD on Australian dollar. You can see the payment method is assigned. This table assigns currency to specific payment method. The currency is forced again after customers click place order. I'll make currency come back to United States dollars for all payment methods. The change currency follow option forces currency based on customer's billing or shipping address. It shows the corresponding currency when customer enters a country in this table. And the sync checkout currency option is to make the currency switch back to customer's previously viewed currency, or not. The price format function improves the appearance of the converted product price. This function does not work with fixed prices, or any element like shipping, subtotal, total, taxes, here you add in configure rules to make the price appear the way you want. Let's do an example. First, we'll see what the price looks like initially. Now I'll make some rules to round the price. The fraction, the part behind the decimal point, would be 99 regardless of. Select the currency for this rule. Here is the result. Now I'll make the integer part 0 with 1 unit up. As if the initial price is 12, it will arrive at 20. Now it's changed. This option makes the rule work at the exact value from, as if the from is 1, with this option enabled, the rule will change the price with from 1. With this option disabled, it will start from 2 instead. In this tab, you can schedule to update exchange rate automatically. Select the frequency of the updating process, how often the exchange rate should be updated. Here, you choose the resource for the rate. For now, Cursi supports 6 APIs to get exchange rate. Adjust how many numbers are after the decimal separator in the exchange rate. With this rate decimals option, enable this option to send notification to admin email when the rate is updated, or add a custom email address here to receive notification if you don't want it to send to the admin email. After an order is placed, you can still change its currency later on. This can only be done under two mandatory conditions. First, the payment is not completed, which means the order status must be pending payment or on hold. Second, the site default currency when the order is placed must be the same as the current one. Select the currency you want to change to in this dropdown and click update. An important step after that is clicking recalculate. It's to ensure you get the correct value after switching currency. Now click update again, and that's pretty much it.
The auto detect function can help to detect customers' IPs. To show currency based on customer country, select auto select currency. This option makes the currency show based on customers' detected IP. It depends on how you configured the option and the table below. Enable this option, currency will show as assigned in the table below. Disable it, and the currency shows as a native one, corresponding to customer's current country. Now, assign the country you want to show this currency here. User with IP located in these countries will see the corresponding currency. This function does not work with administrators, so if you check, I recommend using incognito mode to avoid cash issue, or an user account. Let's make an example. I'll make customers from all over the world see euro, so I'll just assign all countries to euro. I'll check with the incognito mode. Now let's assign all countries to Australian dollar, so people will see price in Australian dollar, no matter where they are. If you deactivate this option, currency shows the native one of customer's country. My current IP is in German, so it should show Euro. This function helps to show two currencies at the same time. One is the site default currency, the other is the price and customer's native currency. Select this option and configure the settings below it. Like which elements to show approximate price, the label and the position. The rest is just like the previous part. I'll make customers see approximate price in Australian dollar, so I'll leave this option enabled and check to avoid cash issue i'll check with the incognito mode 